fertility clinic that deals with all the aspects of where patients have difficulty falling pregnant, through to patients who have recurring miscarriages, through to patients who need other methods of conceiving where we need to use third party gametes, in other words, donor sperm or donor eggs, where we may need to use a surrogate's wound where the patient herself doesn't have a uterus or has a uterus that is not able to carry a pregnancy. Um, we manage all aspects of reproductive medicine. To donate the eggs, we get uh, numerous applications every month. We do have a computer program that has an algorithm that will select the donors out initially. So there are lots of reasons why we will not allow a donor to donate. Unfortunately, the computer then will inform that donor she does not satisfy the criteria. Should they pass the computer criteria, then they will come in and be seen by our counsellor, they will be seen by one of the nursing sisters, they will be seen by one of the doctors. And the most important thing for us is to make sure that the donor herself has good potential because we see a lot of young girls today who have a limited egg supply and they themselves should not be donating the egg, they should rather be getting pregnant. Self for reproductively older women is more difficult. And if we go back and we say, and how old is the oldest baby now? Louise Brown's 42 years old. Why did IVF come out? IVF came out for young women with blocked tubes. So there was a mechanical problem where sperm and egg could not meet up. So we said, let's bypass the mechanics. So when we started IVF in the late 70s, we did it for young women with blocked tubes. Then we started to look at using it for young women with open tumors and other reasons for infertility. And it worked well. And while that was all happening in the background, we started to move into the 90s and the early 2000s, which then became women now completing their matric, then going to university, then establishing themselves in their career, putting some money away, and then finding Mr. Wright, who I always say it's like a computer. When it breaks, it's out, and then we find the next computer, and we bring that in, it's another five years. And now, the woman wakes up at 38, 39, and finds that she can't just fall pregnant like her 22-year-old neighbor. And that's become our biggest problem. 